Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Quick update on Ringer. I did the black. I ended up dropping the board out. I'll show you on the back in a minute. I used, um, I actually used frog tape first. I mean, frog tape's a little bit more expensive, but I used that to get this edge real nice. Went across the top too. Uh, and uh, sprayed the whole inside. I'm still using that satin paint I showed you before. Uh, I did put a piece of tape, uh, no, a round one over here. Like I said, I don't really care if there's a bad edge because you don't see it. And um, gave it a good coat. And uh, I tried to line this up with the bottom here rather than a little higher where it was before. Kind of looked, I didn't like that. Uh, once again, you can see the nice edge that the tape created. So <clears throat> this has been drying for a day. My next step is to do the yellow. Uh, I want to give that a few days to dry because there's a lot of yellow. It uh, goes around here, comes down, we got two spikes. And then on this side, it's like the whole back of half of the cabinet. I'm going to have to crank that down a little bit, turn two. But um, let me show you what I did to the board. The other thing is I taped this from the back side because I want to get a good edge here, which is hard to get when the, when the board was in. But I didn't have to want to fully remove the board with the wiring. This tape lifted here, so I'm going to have to retape this before I do anything because I want to keep this in. I don't care about a scraggly edge here because the board bolts up to it because I'm going to actually clear coat this whole thing when done to lock everything down. So I'm going to retape this from the top side front. But uh, coming around, here is the light board. What I did is I just um, had some paint around. Uh, I gave it just two quick coats. I, I lightly sanded off with a uh, 100 grit where I had the uh, I noticed when I was stripping and I had some junk build up up here. Uh, I sanded that off. There's some black paint overspray. You can see a hair of it through, but uh, whole trick is I wanted just to pop a little bit better. Whiter board. I didn't get up in, in these light sockets. That's something I could decide to do later. Paint's going to be really accessible. I got to pull the rest of the light bulbs out. I'm going to put just all new bulbs in. I believe these are the lights of light ringer. I believe the cone recess means it's a flasher bulb. If that's anything like they did with the pinball. Uh, the rest of these are going to be standard uh, just backlit bulbs. So I think that's going to like make that ringer uh, flash. And you can see how I removed it. I ended up just taking off two of these guys here and here. Um, be able to drop it down. Now the problem is when I do the yellow, I'm going to want to close the door. So I have to mount this semi in the cabinet. So I'm going to see if I can maybe find some screws that are like the size that were in there, but an inch longer. So I can just kind of mount it up to the paper, but I have to be careful about that overspray. I don't want, when I clear it, I guess if it gets in a little bit, it's not gonna be a big deal because the rest of the black's gonna be taped off. But um, I wanna avoid it if I can. So uh, kind of see where we're standing right now. I uh, got a few more things to check and uh, um, tape it off with the yellow and then I'm gonna give it a good week. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next update.